prayer for the 2022 national and local elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming national and local elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides our nation. For every petition, let us pray together, Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. From coercion, intimidation, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord. From gullibility to the deceptive and blindness of perspective. Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. Now let our response be, Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. That care for creation may never be ignored. Hear us, Lord. That solidarity may guide the path of peace and development. Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others and grow in holiness. Guide our politics as you guide our lives. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us be sorry for our sins. Let us entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. May the venerable exercises of holy devotion shape the hearts of your faithful, O Lord, to welcome worthily the Paschal mystery and proclaim the praises of your salvation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The angel brought me, Ezekiel, back to the entrance of the temple of the Lord, and I saw water flowing out from beneath the threshold of the temple toward the east, for the facade of the temple was toward the east. The water flowed down from the right side of the temple south of the altar. He led me outside by the north gate and around to the outer gate facing the east, where I saw water trickling from the right side. Then when he had walked off to the east with a measuring cord in his hand, he measured off a thousand cubits and had me wade through the water, which was ankle deep. He measured off another thousand, and once more had me wade through the water, which was now knee-deep. Again he measured off a thousand, and had me wade. The water was up to my waist. Once more he measured off a thousand, but there was now a river through which I could not wade. 
for the water had risen so high it had become a river that could not be crossed except by swimming. He asked me, Have you seen this, son of man? Then he brought me to the bank of the river where he had me sit. Along the bank of the river, I saw very many trees on both sides. He said to me, This water flows into the eastern district down upon the Arabah and empties into the sea the salt waters which it makes fresh. Wherever the river flows, every sort of living creature that can multiply shall live, and there shall be abundant fish, for wherever this water comes, the sea shall be made fresh. Along both banks of the river, fruit trees of every kind shall grow. Their leaves shall not fade, nor their fruit fail. Every month they shall bear fresh fruit, for they shall be watered by the flow from the sanctuary. Their fruit shall serve for food, and their leaves for medicine. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. God is our refuge and our strength, an ever-present help in distress. Therefore we fear not, though the earth be shaken, and mountains plunge into the depths of the sea. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. There is a stream whose trunnets gladden the city of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. God is in its midst. It shall not be disturbed. God will help it at the break of dawn. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. Come, behold the deeds of the Lord, the astounding things he has wrought on earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. Please stand. Dios ko sa aking igad, noong inuod ay natapad, puso ko'y kawin ang pataas, nang manauli ang lahat, tuman ang iyong pagpilig. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. There was a feast of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there in Jerusalem, at the Sheep Gate, a pool called in Hebrew Bethesda, with five porticos. In these lay a large number of ill, blind, lame, and crippled. One man was there who had been ill for 38 years. When Jesus saw him lying there and knew that he had been ill for a long time, he said to him, Do you want to be well? The sick man answered him, Sir, I have no one to put me into the pool. When the water is stirred up, while I am on my way, someone else gets down there before me. Jesus said to him, Rise, take up your mat, and walk. Immediately the man became well, took up his mat, and walked. Now that day was a Sabbath. So the Jews said to the man who was cured, It is the Sabbath. 
and it is not lawful for you to carry your mat. He answered them, The man who made me well told me, Take up your mat and walk. They asked him, Who is the man who told you, Take up your mat, take it up and walk? The man who was healed did not know who it was, for Jesus had slipped away since there was a crowd there. After this, Jesus found him in the temple area and said to him, Look, you are well. Do not sin anymore, so that nothing worse may happen to you. The man went and told the Jews that Jesus was the one who had made him well. Therefore, the Jews began to persecute Jesus because he did this on a Sabbath. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, who you stay close to says so much about you. That is why there is a saying, birds of the same feather flock together. Kung sino ang nilalapitan mo, kung kanino ka malapit, kung sino ang sinusundan mo, marami ang sinasabi tungkol sa iyo. Our first reading today is about the vision of the prophet Ezekiel of water flowing from the temple of Jerusalem. It started as trickling water, patak lamang ng tubig, but it ended up a great river. And in the vision of the prophet Ezekiel, near this water, near this great river, fruit trees grew. And the leaves of these trees never faded. They always had fruits. Hindi nalalanta ang mga dahon at palaging namumunga ng masagana. And this is because of the proximity of the trees to the water. Dahil malapit sila sa tubig, ang mga punong ito ay palaging buhay at mabunga, namumunga. Our gospel today is about the lame man that Jesus met near the pool of Bethesda. And this man has been sick for 38 long years. This man, together with many other sick people, stay near the pool of Bethesda because they believe that the waters of the pool has healing powers. But Jesus, who talked to this lame man, who came close to him, healed him. And by healing him, Jesus proves to him that it is not really the water that heals. It is God who heals. And it is his proximity to Jesus that healed him. Dahil siya napalapit kay Jesus, dahil si Jesus ay lumapit sa kanya, kaya siya napagaling. You see, my dear brothers and sisters, who we stay close to says so much about who we are. 
And so today we ask ourselves, who are you close to? Kanino ka ba malapit? Sino ba ang yung nilalapitan? Sino ba ang yung sinusundan? Kanino mo ba gustong mapalapit? That will say so much about who you are. Do these people to whom we are close to give us more life? Or do they suck the life out of us? Do they make us better? Or do they destroy us? Do they bring out the best in us? Or they bring out the worst in us? Do they make us good? Or do they make us evil? That is why we have to be careful to whom we are close. Because that will say so much about who we are and who we will become. Yan bang nilalapitan natin yan? Ginagawa tayong mabuti? O baka ginagawa tayong masama? Yan bang mga dinidikitan natin, ginagawa tayong masunurin sa kalooban ng Diyos o tinuturuan tayong sumuway sa kalooban ng Diyos? Yan bang mga hinahangaan natin, nilalabas yung mabuti sa atin o nilalabas yung masama sa atin? In the end, my dear brothers and sisters, we only have to be close to Jesus. And this season of Lent, let us strive to stay close to Jesus. The closer we are to Jesus, the more that we benefit from His blessings, from His graces. Like the trees planted near abundant waters, like the layman who came close to Jesus. Let us strive today and every day to stay close only to Jesus. Please stand. The better we know God, the more we realize our total dependence on Him. Aware of our limitations, we pray in our helplessness to God the Father. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the leaders of the church may give their lives unsparingly in the service of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may have the generosity of heart to offer ourselves and grow in our need to follow Christ, who is meek and humble of heart. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may have true spirit of humility in our dealings with the poor and the oppressed, and that we may recognize the presence of Christ in them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the sick may find love and support from those who care for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for all who are sick, especially those afflicted with COVID-19, and for those who care for them. May the vaccines and medicines, as well as our concern for each other, help end this pandemic. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who have gone ahead of us may be united with God in His kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray in silence for our personal petitions. We remember the people who need our prayers. We continue to pray for peace in the world, especially between Ukraine and Russia. 
And we also pray for the intentions offered in this Mass. Lord God, Father of the poor, conscious of our weakness and our pride, hear the requests of your needy people. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. We offer to you, O Lord, these gifts which you yourself have bestowed. May they attest to your care as Creator, for this our mortal life, and affect in us and effect in us the healing that brings us immortality through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for through bodily fasting you restrain our faults, raise up our minds, and bestow both virtue and its rewards through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, Dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy and from the world's beginning are ceaselessly at work so that the human race may become holy just as you yourself are holy. Look, we pray upon your people's offerings and pour out on them the power of your Spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, in whom we too are your sons and daughters. Indeed, though we once were lost and could not approach you, you loved us with the greatest love. For your Son, Jesus, for your Son who alone is just, handed himself over to death, and did not disdain to be nailed for our sake to the wood of the cross. But before his arms were outstretched between heaven and earth to become the lasting sign of your covenant, he desired to celebrate the Passover with his disciples. As he ate with them, he took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to them, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. Amen. 
In a similar way, when supper was ended, knowing that he was about to reconcile all things in himself through his blood to be shed on the cross, he took the chalice filled with the fruit of the vine, and once more giving you thanks, handed the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The Mystery of Faith When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of your Son, Jesus Christ, who is our Passover and our surest peace, we celebrate his death and resurrection from the dead, and looking forward to his blessed coming, we offer you, who are our faithful and merciful God, the sacrificial victim who reconciles to you the human race. Look kindly, most compassionate Father, on those you unite to yourself by the sacrifice of your Son, and grant that by the power of the Holy Spirit, as they partake of this one bread and one chalice, they may be gathered into one body in Christ, who heals every division. Be pleased to keep us always in communion of mind and heart, together with Francis our Pope and Jose our Bishop. Help us to work together for the coming of your kingdom until the hour when we stand before you, saints among the saints in the halls of heaven, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints, with our deceased brothers and sisters, whom we humbly commend to your mercy. Then freed at last from the wound of corruption and made fully into a new creation, we shall sing to you with gladness the thanksgiving of Christ, who lives for all eternity. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us ask the Father to forgive our sins and to bring us to forgive those who sin against us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. 
have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Purify our minds, O Lord, we pray, and renew them with this heavenly sacrament that we may find help for our bodies now and likewise in times to come through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Grant, O merciful God, that your people may remain always devoted to you and may constantly receive from your kindness whatever is, whatever is for their good through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.
Panginoon, 